Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem four. Uh, when the human body uh, is responding to stress, the hormone uh, adrenaline is released. A short time later, the body returns to normal. This is an example of how a human reacts to an antibody, develops genetic variation in body cells, maintains cellular organization, or maintains dynamic equilibrium. So try the problem, see if you get the same answer as we do. Always choose an answer before you finish watching this video. So according to this, the human body is reacting to stress, okay? So if you, you definitely read the problem carefully, okay? So it's the body is reacting to, uh, responding to stress. And then adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline is released. Adrenaline is, is well, it is talking about responding to stress, uh, so it's involved in the fight or flight response. Response. It's actually a really cool uh, chemical. It's a, it's really a uh, cool hormone. So I actually do recommend. Here's the. Uh, the article for adrenaline uh, for adrenaline it directs uh, immediately to epinephrine from from uh, Wikipedia. It's actually really cool. So just read about it. It's actually you'll 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 enjoy it. I think it's a, such a cool chemical the way it works. Uh, so um, as a result, so let's see let's see if we can say what which of these makes sense or don't make sense. Reacts to an antibody well antibodies are involved in the immune response okay but this is a stress response so that's not a, a good answer uh, let's see genet uh, develops genetic variation in body cells well there's nothing there's nothing in that fight or flight response that should tell us that there's any um, uh, genetic variation that's being caused uh, as far as we call, can tell, it does not cause mutations in cells. It's that's just not part of what adrenaline does. So that's not it. Uh, so let's see. Maintains cellular organization. Suppose that you don't know what this necessarily means. Okay, so we'll skip it for a moment. And then maintains dynamic equilibrium. This actually sounds promising here. Uh, dynamic equilibrium is the process of maintaining homeostasis. So what does it mean to, to maintain homeostasis? If you're just kind of watching these, this video right now, just kind of sitting in your chair or watching it on your phone, you're, you feel like nothing in your body is going on at all. Like maybe your heart's beating. Maybe even you might be able to feel your heart beating. Well, I don't. I just feel like nothing's happening other than, than the occasional breath. But there's actually tons of chemical reactions going on at, at the same time. Cells constantly splitting, some cells dying, bacteria. In, uh, uh, there's so much going on in in, in your body right now so it's not that your body's not doing anything it's that it's doing a lot but it's all do, it's doing all of that to maintain a constant uh situation so that your body can survive uh so that that's what dynamic equilibrium is that's that's the body returning to normal if you stayed in that fight or flight response constantly your body would undergo a an enormous amount of stress and it could actually cause harm to your body uh, as you know people who live a stressful life tend to tend to live shorter lives because of heart conditions and things like that so uh, maintaining dynamic equilibrium is definitely a, the viable answer so now what does it mean to maintain cellular organization what this uh, is referring to uh, what this is referring to is the arrangement of cells. Okay, so uh, the again, it sounds like cellular organization. You're like, well, I know organizations, what they do. No, but this is organization. It means a physical arrangement. That's what that's what 
this is referring to. So this is not the, the correct answer. So uh, if you're watching this video um, on, on from our channel, the next video will start immediately. But if not, go to uh, go to our channel, go to the section that talks about the January 2017 bioregions and, and watch from there. You'll be able to watch all the videos in sequence. All right. Thanks for watching.